In this lesson, we're gonna take a look at Amazon attribution. What is it? How does it work? How to maximize the profits? What's the actual attribution link for? How to find influencers to work with you and other stuff that, you know, other hacks and, and tricks that I've noticed that have worked for me that I'm just gonna explain to you guys. Um, so basically the Amazon attribution, what is it? So I'm not sure if you know about this, but the Amazon attribution is a program from Amazon, okay? This is totally on the Amazon side, okay? It's not against <laughs> terms of, of service. So basically it's the advertising and al analytics measurement solution that gives marketers insight into how their non Amazon marketing channels perform on Amazon. In other words, you know, easy words is that it's a basically a program that that's going to let you work with tracking your social media efforts and see if it's working or not. Okay. See what's not working, see how much money you're making off social media. And this is what Amazon calls non Amazon marketing channels. So the non Amazon marketing channels are social media, AKA TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, so all the social media platforms we know, okay? So the way it works is that Amazon will give you a link and you will post that link on your social media, okay? I'm gonna explain to you how we're gonna get that link in a few seconds. So, but, and every time you get a sale with that link, Amazon will give you a cut of that, okay? That's on top of the actual profit we should be making when selling on Amazon, right? If you're making like $3 profit of each unit, Amazon will give you a 10% off the sale you make on social media. Okay, so that's gonna be more money for your pocket. So it is really powerful and easy to, to use, you know? All you have to do is, you know, to be out there on social media, uh, which nowadays, I mean, you have to be out there, you know? Social media is kind of everything right now. So um, on the actual maximize profits through brand referral bonus topic, uh, you do need to be brand registered to do this, okay? So if you're not brand, brand registered, you're not gonna be able to have access to this bonus, okay? So we which is the actual 10% bonus that I just talked to you about. The brand referral bonus is basically a cut that Amazon is gonna give you, which is average of 10% of qualifying sales. When you drive traffic to products in the Amazon store from search, social media, and other sources, okay? It's really interesting because Amazon does this because they want to incentivize all of us to use Amazon and take all that traffic to Amazon instead of you know, having that, that traffic over to Amazon competitors like eBay, Shopify. So, and actually this link will work even if they buy something else. So this is kind of like a, of a referral link. What I mean by that is if someone goes to Amazon and actually, you know, let's just guess that this is your product. Thanks to your social media effort, they land in on your page, on your product, right? And the way that's gonna work is that, let's say that I'm just gonna, I'm gonna buy your product, add it to the cart, yes, but I am also gonna buy something else. I don't know, let's just pretend that I liked uh, this one. So I'm also gonna buy this one $30 spa bench, and I'm also gonna get a 10% of this, okay? You know, that's what they mean when they say 10% of qualifying sales. And I mean, you're gonna have more information about this if you wanna read on it, but that's basically what that means that's the brand referral bonus and you do need to be brand registered to access these benefits on Amazon. So that, that's pretty much it. Now, what you have to do is set up the attribution um, link, the attribution you know strategy on your Amazon seller page, okay? So what you're gonna do is go to your Amazon seller central and then go to advertising and then measure non Amazon ads, okay? You're gonna click on that. You're gonna have a lot of info here but click on visit the advertising console. You wanna click on create campaign here and then click on create manually. I mean, you don't want to do this in bulk because I mean, if you're starting, you just don't wanna do that, okay? Just click on manually. And this is pretty much it. On the name, I like to, you know, I'll, I like to have my campaigns well organized. So I'm just gonna put IG if I know this is gonna be an Instagram campaign, if I'm gonna launch these videos on Instagram, if the, the actual link will, will be right here, the URL. And if the actual link will be 
on Instagram, I just want to know if my Instagram efforts are actually working. So you're just gonna click on add your product and on the ad group name, I mean, you can just put the same thing. This really doesn't matter. It's just, you know, you can have multiple ad groups within the same campaign. So this, this is one campaign. You can have multiple ad groups, okay? Three, two, one. But I don't really like to do that. I just wanna go, I just like to go with one. So I'm gonna do that and, you know, just to make things easier for this video. So on the publisher, there's always gonna be all kinds of platforms here. We're gonna have TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, all the famous ones are gonna be here. So I'm just gonna look for it so you guys can see. And then Instagram, that's it, okay? That's where it is. So that's, I mean, that's basically the source of the inventory, just like you, you guys can read off Amazon what is telling us. That's, I mean, that's just basically lets Amazon what, what we're doing and where we are doing it, right? On the channel, it's gonna be social because it knows it's a social platform, it's social media. And on the click-through URL. When it comes to click-through URL, this is what they mean, okay? Enter the destination URL when a user clicks your ad, email or social media post. So what that means is that this is gonna be your product link, okay? This is not gonna be the link that Amazon Attribution will give us, this just means that it's gonna be your actual product link, okay? So let's say that this is your product. So we're gonna copy here, okay? And then go back to here and then just paste it, okay? That's pretty much it. We're gonna click create. But I mean, so just, for, just to be clear, just be on the same page. So the link that they're asking you here is just your product link. Okay, just copy and paste it. It's it's okay. Again, when they click on your social media post on your on your ad or whatever you're running on social media, where are they gonna land on? Okay, so we want them to land on our product. Okay, so you're just gonna um, copy and paste your product link here and then click on create. Oh, it's telling me URL should not exceed 200. Okay. Well, in that case, it's not a big deal. We can just cut this all the way up to this lash thing. And I'm gonna explain to you why this lash, like why until that point, and it should work. Let's see what it tells. Okay, it seems like it's working. It's thinking. It actually worked. Now I want you guys to see this, okay? Click through URL and then attribution tag. On the attribution tag and click through URL, these are two different things, okay? The attribution tag is the actual link that we're gonna use on social media, okay? So that's what we're gonna copy and paste on social media. That's what we are gonna have on our, you know, Instagram profiles. And the click-through URL is just your product link, okay? We're, we're not gonna need that any, anymore. And what's really cool about this is that you can just track this, okay? So if you go back to your ads, and let's say that we're gonna click on this, and this is how you're gonna track it, okay? This is just an example. That's why, that's why I don't have anything. This is pretty much it. On the attribution tags here on the, on the left, you're gonna see, you know, so you can copy and paste the, your link. But this is how you can track it. It's it's really cool. I mean, it's it's it is really convenient, really powerful. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Now I do want to mention something else before I go, and it's about this two things. Okay, how to find influencers? The platform that I've used before is the AI influencer. I kind of already explained how this works in, in the previous video, but just, just so you guys can, in case you guys didn't see it, it's basically the actual, I mean, it's one marketplace full of influencers. So I guess you can call it influencer marketplace where you can just get in touch with them and, you know, potentially actually work with them. It's kind of like a do-it-yourself thing. Um, I mean, if you like, let's say that you like this influencer, which is this one. I mean, she's got a bunch of followers, but but if your product is not into fashion, then you don't want to work with them, right? If you're not into food, no photography, no. And then you just, I mean, you're gonna have to create your account, sign up and all that. And it's gonna ask you for the actual, you know, what, what your goal is. Like what kind of influencer do you wanna work with? And that's the people that they're gonna find you, okay? Now, something else that I wanted to mention is you have to be really careful when it comes to copying the link because, okay, this is really, really interesting. The reason for this is because if you copy a link that contains keywords, Amazon may flag you because it thinks you're doing ranking manipulation, okay? So 
what I mean by that is that we're just gonna go to Amazon really quick here and let's say that I'm looking for shower foot rest okay so that's that that's the actual keyword so let's say that I just oh okay so this is this is my product and if this is my product then I'm just gonna copy and paste the link here on Amazon attribution do not do that okay so because I look for shower foot rest okay that is one keyword and if we look inside here somewhere there should be the keyword let me look for it okay it's here shower not sure if you guys can see it I don't know if my software is re actually recording this but shower foot rest is the actual keyword do not do that because Amazon may flag you and the reason why is that is because they can be like oh okay so this guy wants to rank for this keyword so that's why he's copying the the, the big link because he wants to rank for this one so what you're gonna do what you want to do is find your ASIN and copy all the way up to this lash. Okay, so just copy, grab this lash here and then copy that. And that's what, what you're gonna put on the Amazon attribution link, okay? So again, don't copy the full thing, don't copy the full link, cause it's gonna, Amazon may flag you. I mean, it may not happen, but you, you never know. And Amazon is, can be, a, can be a pain if you mess with them. So that's it guys, I hope um, you were able to understand how the actual Amazon attribution works. It is really powerful. It's a way to maximize your, maximize your profits, track your social media efforts, and that's it. If you guys have any issues or questions about this, make sure to join us on our Wednesday coaching calls, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. And yeah, thanks for watching this video.